Let's get to know. You will all be grown up one day. Be young men and women. It's your aunt. Now you call older sir or man. People will be as will be as old as your grandmother fathers. You will leave this world and go to live hereafter. Here, when you get older, you make preparations for your future now. All right, have you thought about what you prepare for your Of course, things now to have the world. God has told us what these things are in the noble. And he has chosen prophets with statistics and in telling people what he Prophets have called people in the societies where they have been sent to worship God. They have told the people that they will be punished if they do not worship him. Superior moral characteristic. Prophets have been examples to people. Carefully considered behavior. Us in the Quran to take an example from the line of prophets. There is instruction in their stories for people of intelligence. Now let's know some of the prophets. Let what they say their people about the things they did that we can use examples. The society to which Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, was lived for food from its revealed God. They did not believe in God, but rather worshipped various beings. He told them that God was the creator of everything. They worshipped things. God would punish them. This is repeated in the Quran. But God, I fear for you the punishment of a painful day. Very few people accepted what he said. After this, God commanded him to build a big boat. to him, build the ship under our supervision and as we reveal.
Those who did not believe in God were very surprised. On Noah building a boat, there was no sea. They were none of him. Unbelievers did not know that a disaster was about to happen to them. When the boat was finished, it rained very hard for several days. Springs of water gushed up from the earth. These, combined with violent rains, caused a gigantic flood. Water covered everything, and the dry land became sea. God commanded believers and some Apart from those who boarded Noah's boat, all the people drowned. receded, as revealed in the Quran, the boat came to rest on When these disasters occur, people go up on top of their roofs to wait for help to come. Going motorboats and helicopters can bring them help. There was nothing else to save people other than his boat. This disaster was a punishment especially by God, to punish those who did not believe Noah. None of those arrogant people who refused to obey God turned away from his warnings entered the boat. They relied on beings other than God and thought that they would save them. If God desires nothing, the people who do this, they went up mountain tops and high places, but it was down by gigantic waves.
the oldest civilizations in the world is that of ancient Egypt. In around 3,000 Egyptians learned to blessings with them. The Egyptians could grow without being easy. Because of this, the rulers of ancient pharaohs is power. Most of the pharaohs did not believe in thought that they were holy. Pharaohs were terrible. The people their slaves made them work with terrible conditions. They did not worship God, but bowed down to various idols. God was him as a prophet to such a place. An instruction to invite Egypt to accept the true religion and from their slavery and put them on. Moses and his brother Aaron confronted to reject it to acknowledge the take Moses relate the Quran in these words. Moses said, Pharaoh, I am I have come to you with a clear sign from your Lord. So send the tribe of Israel away with me. Pharaoh was an arrogant person, and he did not accept what he thought that against God. It was God who gave Pharaoh his power, wealth, and land. Is not wise enough to recognize this. He tried to accuse the order of his This, God sent several disasters on this people. It happened that Pharaoh and his people did not learn from the event. in their era. In spite of all that had happened to him, Pharaoh did not accept God's power. Then, he commanded to take the Israel out of Egypt. Moses set out together with those who believed. Did not accept the picture because he did not mention.
doubled his and went in pursuit of the Israelites. Israel between the sea and them and the army from behind. But even apparently impossible, most hope. God created a miracle and divided the sea in to make way for the believers to pass. for Moses. When the believer passed through, back there, and Pharaoh and his army were down. This is words. Such was the case with Pharaoh's people and those before them. They denied their Lord's signs, so we destroyed them for their wrong actions. When he was alive, he said he believed in God and asked the Savior. But this minute rep use. This is because God were sincere. Sorry for what God is very a person feels the moment he sincere, and so may be of no use. This was the case with Pharaoh. This being the case, we must say that will please God fall into Pharaoh's error. If we do not live lives according to the high moral teachings of the Quran, do not obey us, do us no we repent. Prophet Muhammad.
The last prophet sent by Muhammad was Prophet Muhammad. Grant him peace. The last holy book is the Quran. Ill in people before the Quran. Their originals, the true revelations that were sent to the people, did not survive to our day. The Quran, the book will be changed. Our Lord tells the Quran. It is we who have sent down the reminder, and we who will preserve it. The word we in this verse refers to God. There is no other deity but God. He has no partner or help. His all power and his knowledge and he is the only. Prophet Muhammad lived about 100 years ago. For this reason, we have information about him. Our Prophet delivered the truths revealed by God in the Quran to the society he lived in. He called them to worship God and to him. He told them that they had to give thanks to God for the things he gives them. He said they had to open if they wanted But some errors in the society and obey. They tried to make things difficult for him. Mecca, where he had been born and But God did not let these people destroy the religion. Come down to us unchanged. The prophet moved from Mecca to Medina, where some friends believed and had. The appeal of the prophet is valid also for all living today. and desire forgiveness for their sins must open. Then follow me and God will love you and forgive you for your wrong actions. God is ever forgiving, most merciful. So kids, if we want God to love us, we have to do what our prophet has told us, as well as we can. In this film, we've come to the effect of the prophets God has sent down to mankind. The prophets of history called societies to worship God. In performing their duty, they did not want hands from the people they spoke to. Individuals had nothing to gain from hearing God's message to their duty. They loved him and wanted him to love them. What the prophet 
have said also applies to us. We should read the Quran. Example from the lives. in the hereafter. You still may be young, but don't forget that one day you will be old and people sir and ma'am. There may it is too early to think about death. But don't forget that no one knows the time when God will take them. You may die in one day, ten years. When you think of these things, you realize how important it is to waste no time in becoming the person God wants you to be. For this reason, you shouldn't waste time. Think about all these truths and start to be the kind of person that God loves.